Hey guys, I have a thrift haul here for you. It's kind of an accumulation of stuff I got over the past few days at some Goodwills and Thrift World. So stick around to see what I got. Hello everybody, my name is Heather. If you're new to my channel, thank you for checking me out. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Poshmark. That was out of the normal order that I do it. So I kind of messed myself up. Um, I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and I love Disney. Okay, I just got done playing volleyball. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt real quick because I'm hot. I'm trying to film this Wednesday night so I can get it out for you guys. For my What Sold video Friday, we're going to see what happens because I'm going out of town Friday morning to watch my nephews play in a volleyball tournament. I might film it tomorrow and schedule it for Friday. So anyway... If you like reseller content like thrift hauls, what sold videos, thread up mystery boxes, be sure to subscribe down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you're already subscribed and let's get into it. Okay, like I said, it's just a bunch of stuff from random places over the last few days. So if you see anything you're interested in, DM me or send me a message or email me and hopefully we can work out a price. These are Allegria clogs. They're like a red shiny patent leather slip on clogs. Allegria is kind of similar to like well, I don't know. I was going to say dance goes, but not really. I'm thinking of Sunita. But anyway, they're a good um, comfort brand. They're a size 38. So I got those. I got these Sorel sandals. These are really cute, like rose gold, white canvas strappy sandals. And these are a size nine and a half. Yes, nine and a half. And then I ended up getting these coach loafers. I don't get coach shoes a lot, but these are in super good condition. And I think they're only $8. Um, here's what the front looks like. And these are in a size nine and a half also. So those are shoes from one store. I'm gonna put my shoes over here. Here, I think is some more shoes. I went to some stores today. If you follow me on Instagram, you know it wasn't the best. I mean, I still got some good stuff, but um, I wasn't feeling like my car like usually is. Okay, this is some form of Birkenstock, but it says Tatami. Tatami? I don't know. If you can see that in there. Um, I, I think this is size 35, so I'm assuming they're a size 5, but they're just like a leather clog. I got these interesting wool Converse. I've never seen Converse like this before. They're a little bit dirty, so I'm going to try to clean them up. I'll have to see if I can just throw them in the wash or something. And these are a size 8. Women's. Women's 8. So I thought those were unique. And when I went up to the register, the lady was like, oh, I didn't see those. I think she would have priced them higher. That one store is getting a little ridiculous with pricing things. This is the brand Vasque, which is a good hiking outdoor trail brand. Women's boots size I don't know. Wait. Size 8. So I always pick up like Vasque, Merrill. What else? I don't even know. That's my normal hiking shoes to pick up. Um, and I also found these Salvatore Ferragamos. These are a navy blue patent leather flat. These are actually aren't bad and not that weird of a style as some of the other ones can be. And they're in a size 8B. So those are cute. And then I got these men's polo Ralph Lauren duck boots. I just thought they were kind of cool and interesting. Good for the season. And these are a size nine and a half. So there's some more shoes. That's going to go over here. Some stuff I got for thread up too. So I'll kind of try to tell you if I'm sending stuff to thread up. This is a pair of Judy blue jeans. These sell pretty well for me. These are a size 2XL. So they're just like a distressed high rise jeans with like the leopard layered look underneath. Um, both times I've had this brand, they've sold for me pretty quick. So I'm hoping these do the same. This is a BCBG Max Azria. I'm sending this to ThreadUp. Um, so for ThreadUp, I'm looking for things they usually retail for like over a hundred dollars typically because I just, I can raise the price, um, up to, I think 80 or 90% off retail or you know what I mean? Of retail. 
And sometimes they sell for that highest price. But when you do that, then you risk, if you want the item back, you have to pay $5.99 per item. So I go in with it knowing I'm not going to take anything back. So I will keep lowering prices eventually. Um, anyway, that's four thread up. This is Cacique size 42 double D. Some of these do have the um, style name right in the back there. And this is a, wow, lightly lined full coverage bra. This will sell for like $20, $25 for me. Um, this is also going to thread up. This is the limited and it was 98 cents. It's like a green, navy blue zip up jacket blazer. I just sent in a big box today and I have another box that's about halfway full. So this is also going into thread up. It retailed for $189. It's new with tag Talbots, like yellow tan striped jacket. So that's cute. Here's the brand Sunita. These are like a pink suede peep toe heels. Um, yeah, they're cute. They're size 40. I saw Sunita just kind of like dance goes. These are a little bit different of a style though than they normally have, but they're cute. Um, I got more. Nope, these are Ariat boots. I thought they were Vasque. I think I have another pair in there. Uh, men's size nine and a half. So these are also good, like outdoor trail work, hiking boots. Here's another pair of Vasque. These ones are men's. The other ones were women's. Another good brand to be looking out for. And these are a size 10. So I don't know how much any of these are going to go for. I'll have to look up the certain styles. Here's a good old pair of dance goes. These kind of have this iridescent looking look which happens to be the theme of Disney's 50th anniversary, iridescent, like Mickey ears. These are size 41. My trip's coming up and I'm so excited. I'm freaking out. So they're in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of stuff up here, but I think I can wipe that off. So those are good. These are more Sorrel's. So yeah, excited about that. They're $7. They charge like $15 for old New Balance and seven for Sorrel's. So I'll take it. These are a size six and a half. They're really cute. And okay, that's it for that bag. Tons of shoes. This is a pair of Rock Revival skinny jeans. These are a size 28. Celine skinny. I think I've sold these before. Rock Revival still does well for me. Look for the blingy back. That's what people like. And this is also doing really well for me. Dojo's. My last one sold super quick for my full asking price. And they were the dark sevens. These ones are the white stitch sevens, which are even better, I think. And these are a size 26. So I'm going to be pricing these probably close to $100. Y2K is back. Yeah. Um, this is American Eagle. That's the newest font. These are a size too short and they're high rise jeggings. Distressed. These probably sell around $20, $25 for me. And another pair of American Eagle. High rise jegging. Too short. Probably the same person. So we're all him. Those are cute. Okay. Next bag. This is just an urban outfitter sweater but I thought it was really cute it's a size small like oversized crop green sweater now that I'm done coaching I really want to like amp up my closet and try to list 15 to 20 things a 15 to 20 things a day um basically my husband says we should try to pay off our car debt before we buy a new house which is a great idea so that's what I'm working for um this is a bravado medium guns and roses t-shirt like band graphic shirt. I thought it was a cool design. And I think I have another one in here somewhere, but I'm sure we'll get to it. This is a Chaps, which I don't get a ton if unless it's the Southwestern Aztec, but this is a size 2XL and it's a short sleeve maxi dress. So I think that'll be a good style. A little bit out of season, but I'll sit on it if I have to. 
this is Joseph Ribkoff. I think that's how you say it, which I'm sending to thread up. This retails for a lot, but I don't sell it very well at all. And I've had good luck with it on thread up. This is a free people sweatshirt. This was sitting on top of the racks. I don't know why. It's a size extra small and just a cute floral, very oversized sweatshirt. This is a cabbie, which I usually will sell, but this is very odd to me with these buttons. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or I'm going to send it to thread up. I'm going to look up the style and see what it's selling for. But I mean, these are huge. <laughs> so we'll see. I got it. This is a Zanella, which is a great made in Italy brand of like business wear. And I'm sending this to thread up for sure. I sold it there before and it sold, I think, over $100. So that should be good. Here's the... Oh, this was just like a cool graphic t-shirt, I thought. I don't know. I like it with the wolf. It doesn't really... It's just a Gildan size large shirt. Here's the other Guns N' Roses graphic t-shirt. I thought that was a cool design. That's also bravado and... That is a size large. This is the brand Spider, which typically does pretty well for me. This is a size extra small, I think, and it's just like a quarter zip jacket. I actually just sold this. This was a Lane Bryant top. I sold it recently in a bundle with some jeans. This one's 14, 16. It's just this cool flannel with the black lace detail. It sold pretty quick for me, so I hope this one does as well. This is a Kate Spade medium hot pink little cardigan sweater. This style cardigan's coming back, so I might sell this myself instead of sending it to the real real. I mean, well, I can send it to the real real or thread up, but I might try to sell it myself first because I think it's kind of, well, I was going to say cute, but I wouldn't wear it. Cute for somebody else. Um, this is a Torrid size three flannel. So this kind of has like red, blue, white colors. That's good. I got more than I thought I got. This is soft surrounding size medium. This is like a chambray, just really soft tunic top. Soft surroundings has lots of tunics. I thought I saw a weird spot, but I don't think so. Anyway, so that's good. Another flannel. This is Merrill, which I usually get in shoes, but I think I've sold a Merrill flannel before for a decent price. This is a women's size medium. This is the brand Citron Santa Monica, which I think can do pretty well. This is a size medium. It's just a really pretty V-neck top with the cute patterns. I don't know what else to say about that. Hey, more flannel. <laughs> this is the brand Cool. So here's that, or it's also on the back. This is a size small and it's just like a red orange flannel. This brand does really well for me in men's and women's, but mostly I give my men's to my brother. How about another flannel? <laughs> This is American Eagle, which you don't pick up very much, but it's extra small and it's totally flannel season and it was cheap. So I thought I would try it. It's cute. This is a loft extra large. You don't really need to see the tag. I'm sending this to thread up. This one doesn't retail for that much, but it was only 99 cents and bigger sizes seem to do better for me over there. So, or well, I mean, so I'm going to try that over there. This is Out From Under, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. It's a size medium hooded green, super soft, like open cardigan with pockets. So I really like that. This pile is getting huge. And then this is a Lewin Gray. It's a size large, extra large, but it is an alpaca blend, super thick navy blue and white, like open cardigan. It has these pockets here. It seems to be very warm. So I decided to get that. I don't hardly ever get that brand, but sometimes the material and stuff can make a difference. 
Okay, one more big bag and one little bag. This is J. Crew Extra Small. It is a mohair and nylon blend. It's from 2009, but because of that blend, I got it. And I think I'm going to send this to Thread Up. This is a Guinevere, which is an anthropology brand, size small, oversized orange sweater. I'm going to look up comps. If they're not great, I'm going to send this to Thread Up also. This is a new with tags Michael Michael Kors dress. That retails for $160. So you need to make sure if you're sending stuff into Thread Up, cut off like it has TJ Maxx tag because they would go by that price. So I'm going to send this to Thread Up also. It's a plus size like tweed dress. Here is some more tweed. This is Kate Spade, New York, size six. It's a really cute pink short sleeve dress. I'm gonna sell this myself, I think. It has pockets. So yes, yeah, so it's very cute. It's a little springy, summery, so we'll see when it sells. This is BCBG Max Azri again. This is going to thread up. Blazers seem to do pretty well for me over there, so I'm going to try that because I know it retails for a lot. This is J. Crew Mercantile, which I think is like J. Crew Factory, size 6. I'm going to sell this myself. It's like a houndstooth blazer. It seems to be perfect for the fall season, and it feels like it has a wool blend. Let's check. It is 55% wool, so yeah, I think that's great for this time of year. This is a newest tags stitch fix market and spruce. I think yes, open cardigan. It's a two pocket cardigan and it's red and it's super, super soft. So I wanted to get that. I'm seeing if it had any like special fabric, but it doesn't really. These are a pair of newest tags leather shorts, <laughs> but I don't know. I thought they were cool. They're lamb leather. They're high rise. So they're size 32, it says. So a good size. I don't know. Somebody's got to want those, right? This is a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. I'm going to send them to Thread Up. I've sold Lucky Brand pretty well there before, and these seem to be a good style. They're like zipper ankle, distressed gray jeans. These are a pair of cabbie jeans. These are a size 10, and these are the Kick It Crop. So... The kind of jeans that are a little bit higher up and the cropped ones are selling really good for me right now. So I hope those do the same. This is the only item I found for my brother today. It was really sucky in the men's section. It's a cool plaid short sleeve top. This is really ugly, but I'm going to send it into thread up. It's BCBG Max Azria, but it kind of gives me like Y2K vibes with this on the chest. It's brown. It's very heavy. Um, let me see what the fabric is. Rayon nylon spandex. So, yeah, that's going to thread up. This is a pair of silver jeans. So, I've been picking up silver jeans when they're in larger sizes. These ones are a size 18. The bleaker style. And they've been selling for me very quickly. So, I'm hoping those will do the same. And this is a pair of Anthropology pants. They are a size small and they're a camo pull-on jogger style pants. Okay, one more little bag. I kind of forgot everything I got. Oh, this is a cabbie top. This is a size medium. It's like a it has shoulder pads and it's bell sleeve. So that's a good basic with the black. These are a pair of vintage Gap jeans, and it says reverse fit. They're a size 8, so they look to kind of be like a high-rise tapered leg jean, good wash. Receipt. This is Torrid. It is a size double zero, though, so that's kind of like a large, I think. Um, but it's a really cute little white dress. So I'll look up the item number for that. And the last thing I got is this pair of North Face pants. North Face women's size medium short. 
and they are a pair of hiking pants that possibly zip off into shorts. So I think those will be good as well. That's my stuff, guys. I have a lot to list. Here's my huge pile that I made. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, sideways. That'll keep me busy for the next few days. Hopefully before I go out of town, I can get a bunch of pictures and stuff. And then in my downtime in the hotel at night, actually we're staying at an Airbnb. Um, I can still do my listings and keep up with my work. So I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully there'll be a what's sold video up on Friday. I'll try to schedule it for Friday and just film it tomorrow since I'm not going to be here. And yeah, that's it. Bye guys.